The very first time I met Joe was in 1992. We were talking one day and just as a Joe, he says, you know, I'd really like to do an implant on. Why don't we put, you know, sky, uh, spikes in your scalp? And I was like, yeah. I had figured out a way to create an implant that would actually protrude through the skin, not become an open wound, and heal with the skin creating a, a, a tight ring around it. My personal driving force behind it is the uniqueness of the idea and the expression of that uniqueness. I've been spiked. The main thing is I do have to keep the hair very short, um, just so it doesn't trap a lot of dirt, a lot of oil. Uh, every once in a while, I'll have the tall spikes in for a long time and my head will itch and I'll forget to reach up between them and I'll go, twink, oh yeah, <laughs> they're tall and pointy.